Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. It's awful cold out there. I think it's 28. So, it's cold in here. Okay, on our prayer request, RV Lucky's sister Talena passed away. Remember him and the family in prayer. Zach's friend Sharon has an unspoken request. Tina Harris has been in the hospital with excess fluid in her chest and around her lungs. Also, her hands, legs, and feet are swollen and her heart's enlarged. Pray she'll get better and be okay. Miss Southern Bell's niece is in, went in the hospital Friday. She has cystic fibrosis. She's about eight years old. My brother Scott is better and was released to return back to work. Robin Wilkes' oldest son, Jesse, and her father, Bill, both have the virus. Tweets needs prayer for insomnia. Bonnie's Jeffers' tooth surgery, they've, they've pushed it on back because of the holidays. She probably won't have it until after Christmas. Abigail's brother's in the hospital with COVID. He also is having dialysis every other day. Pray he gets better soon. Life Adventures and Keto pray for her and her son to get better from their colds. Mike Payne's daughter had emergency surgery on Saturday. Pray she'll be okay. Coco Chanel needs prayer for her and her family. Danielle Rogers and her family are suffering from colds. Karen Boyle's mother-in-law has COVID. Pray she's better soon. And... Miranda Bell's brother-in-law is in the hospital with COVID and pneumonia. Seems like pneumonia is going with that. A lot of the people I hear that have it are, have pneumonia also, which is not good. Okay. Our scripture of the day comes from 2 Timothy 2. 22 through 26. Flee the evil desires of youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who can call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments, because you know they produce quarrels. And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. Opponents must be gently instructed in the hope that God will grant them repentance, leading them to a knowledge of the truth, and that they will come to their senses and escape from the trap of the devil who has taken them captive to do his will. Okay, our Devotion today is entitled Gentle Speech. I was on Facebook arguing, bad move, what made me think I was obligated to correct a stranger on a hot topic, especially a divisive one. The results were heated words, hurt feelings on my part anyway, and a broken opportunity to witness well for Jesus. That's the sum outcome of internet anger. It's the term for the harsh words flung daily across the blogosphere. As one ethics expert explained, people wrongly conclude that rage is how public ideas are talked about. Paul's wise advice to Timothy gave the same caution. Don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments because you know they produce quarrels. And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but must be kind to everyone. Paul's good counsel, written to Timothy from a Roman prison, was sent to prepare the young pastor for teaching God's truth. Paul's advice is just timely, is just as timely for us today, especially when the conversation turns to our faith. Opponents must be gently instructed in the hope that God will grant them repentance, leading them to a knowledge of the truth. Speaking kindly to others is part of this challenge, but not just for pastors. For we all love God and seek to tell others about him. May we speak his truth in love. With every word, the Holy Spirit will help us. 
Why is it vital as a believer in Jesus to avoid arguing with others on the internet and in other contexts? When you're led by the Holy Spirit, how does the tone of your comments, your heart, change? Father God, I'm speaking to others about your truth or other interest and in well in my heart and tongue with you, with your love. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on the prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. You know, you see a lot of that on the internet, uh, you know, and especially YouTube. There's uh, just so many haters out there. I mean, you know, it'll be over something silly sometimes too, you know. I mean, uh, you see it. I'm sure you all see it every day. Uh, that they call them, you know, trolls is what, what they call them. I mean, uh, it just seems like they just have a chip on their shoulder for everything, anything and everything. Um, you know, and you get people that, that are just uh, daily dislikers. I mean, every single day, you know, I mean, uh, if you don't like it, please don't watch, you know, I mean, don't, don't uh, cause all this anxiety for some people that some people get very upset when they get a dislike even, you know, and uh, also just, you can't take the comments to heart and you just don't reply to them. Don't reply or either, I, lots of times I'll just say something like, God bless you, you know, and uh, that, that way they know that it's not bothering me, you know, and I hope the best for you. Um, so try not to get caught up in that because it just causes you to undo stress and anxiety. It's not worth it. I sure don't need it and I'm not going to worry about stuff like that. And I'm not going to get in an argument with anybody on the internet or, or on uh, YouTube. So, um, that's, that's something, you know, that I got out of it this morning. Um, when I just read that, um, and so it had meaning for me and I hope it had meaning for you too. Um, I don't know if I'll be going out or not. It's 28. It's, it's going to only be 40 some today. So I may do a, another coffee break today. Um, I thought it went good yesterday, and I had the, the question, you know, would you take the the, the uh, COVID-19 vaccine uh, if it's offered to you? And uh, got, a, got a lot of good responses. So I think that went well. And everybody, I hope you have a great day, and I'll be seeing you a little later on on morning coffee break. Have a great day, and God bless everybody. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Thanks a lot, everybody, and I'll see you a little later on. God bless everyone.